this is one way that I can hang boards on a SIP or structural insulated panel ceiling. The panels are a sandwich of styrofoam between OSB and there's a 4x12 beam or rafter embedded at each panel seam. I want for my ceiling board fasteners to hit those rafters. Notice the sticks that I've screwed to the ceiling above the board that I'll be placing. I call the sticks my helping hands. The darker one on the left has a screw in its top and bottom. The lighter stick on the right, directly above the ladder, just has one screw so that I can swing the stick over the board after I have it in place. This is the material that I'm using, 14 foot, 1 by 12, knotty pine or fir that would probably grade out at a number 2 or worse. I'm trimming the edges for tongue and groove joints before I put them on the ceiling. I want to position my ladder so I'll be in the board's middle to best handle its teeter-totter while I place it. myself turned around on this step here. Hopefully I can get the end of this board through there. Yeah. Let me see what that stick does for me. And this stick pivots. Hope you can see that. Bring that down here. I'm gonna put a screw in it. Okay, now we can step down and take a look at what we've got. You can see how the helping hand sticks hold the board in place to free my hands to seat the tongue and groove joint. I use these blocks with the milled groove so that I can tap the work piece into place without buggering up its tongued edge. Here's one of the blocks that I was bragging about earlier. You see it's got the groove on one side. And I'll put that here. Notice it stays in place. Get my hammer. And the idea is to line this board up with the one below it. Oh, I heard it slide in place there when I moved. There it fell. It just fell in place by itself. Give it a tap. And I'll put a screw in the block. And uh, that'll keep it from bouncing. That'll keep the board from bouncing back up uh, here. I don't know if you can see that groove, but it's nice and tight. And I'm just going to work my way down the board. And these blocks will also keep the board up there for me until I start putting screws in it. Go along, I'll tighten up these screws in the lower board. If they're tight, it's very difficult to seat the TNG joint. So you can see where all the work is. 
going up and down the darn ladder. The blue line above the work runs parallel to the ridge beam. I can stay with it by opening or closing the TNG joint just a little bit incrementally. So the helping hand sticks and the grooved blocks help hold the board in place so I can seat the TNG joint. Now I can scoop my ladder along and put in some fasteners.